आई एम संग्राम शिंदे फ्रॉम के आई टीज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट डीजल पावर प्लांट इन आवर कंट्री सो डीजल पावर प्लांट इट इज अगेन पार्ट ऑफ थर्मल पावर प्लांट इट इज वेरी लेस क्वांटिटी वी कैन से जनरेटिंग फ्रॉम दिस डीजल पावर प्लांट अबाउट फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एटी मेगावेट ओनली विच इज जनरेटेड फ्रॉम दिस डीजल पावर प्लांट सो फॉर डीजल पावर प्लांट वेर डिस इट इज जनसेट्स विच आर अवेलेबल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ द डीजल इंजन पावर प्लांट देर इज अ बिगर इंजिन लाइक अ डीजल इंजिन इज दैर सो डीजल पावर प्लांट इट इज अ जनरेटिंग स्टेशन इन विच द डीजल इंजिन इज यूज एज द प्राइम वर फॉर द जनरेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज नोन एज डीजल पावर स्टेशन डीजल पावर प्लांट प्रोड्यूसेस पावर इन द रेंज ऑफ टू टू फिफ्टी मेगावेट दे आर यूज एज अ स्टैंड बाय सेट्स फॉर कंटिन्यूअली ऑफ सप्लाई सच एज हॉस्पिटल टेलीफोन एक्सचेंज रेडियो स्टेशन सिनेमा थिएटर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री दे आर सुटेबल फॉर मोबाइल पावर जनरेशन एंड वाइडली यूज इन द रेलवे सब मेरीन एंड शिप्स सो दिस इज द ओनली जन सेट्स इज द डीजल इंजिन समॉट एप्लीकेशन आर शोन हियर दे आर यूज एज अ सेंट्रल स्टेशन फॉर ए स्मॉल और मीडियम पावर सप्लाईज दे कैन बी यूज एज अ स्टैंड बाय प्लांट्स टू हाइड्रोलेटिक पावर प्लांट्स एंड टू स्टीम पावर प्लांट फॉर इमरजेंसी सर्विसेज टू स्टार्टिंग दिस इट इज अ स्टैंड बाय यूनिट्स और इफ द वी कैन से सम पीक पावर इज रिक्वायर्ड अदर पावर इज रिक्वायर्ड इफ हाइड्रोलेटिक पावर प्लांट और स्टीम पावर प्लांट इज नॉट गोइंग टू सप्लाई दिस देन इट कैन वर्क एज अ स्टैंड बाय यूनिट दे कैन बी यूज एज अ पीक लोड पावर प्लांट because if you see the peak power is required only 10 megawatt otherwise only constant power is about 40 megawatt is required so 40 megawatt can be supplied by the steam power plant only one or two hours uh, hours which is required the 50 megawatt only excess 10 megawatt is required in that case we can start this uh, diesel power plant and we can fulfill this requirement they are quite suitable for mobile power generation mobile power generation means we can mobile this we can uh, shift this power plant pro- from one location to another location this is a good advantage it is a major advantage of this uh, diesel power plants so uh, it is used for the transportation purpose nowadays power cut has become a regular uh, feature for the industry so when the power cut is there we can use the this gen set so these are the some application good applications are given it can act as a peak load power plant it is a mobile plant isn't it mobile plant means it can be transport from one location to another location it is a standby unit why standby unit because if it is required then we can use it so uh, you can put uh, keep as a standby isn't it so uh, diesel power plant can be uh, work as a standby unit emergency plant we have seen in the in the emergency we can u- use it otherwise we u- utilize other electricity from other power plants nursery station nursery station means what in some cases uh we have to fulfill the requirement of somewhat villages you can say if five villages are there in one village the time is there two hours are required uh, electricity we can uh, use this power plant diesel power plant in that village first after that after some time it required in another village then we can transport this shift this uh, diesel power plant from one village to another village in that way we can uh, fulfill the requirement of five villages so this is a work as a nursery station we can move this pro- from one location to another location or one village to another lo- village and fulfill the requirement of all the villages so it is called as nursery station next starting station in some uh, bigger power plant like a uh, gas turbine power plant hydroelectric power plant steam turbine power plant to start the turbines somewhat uh, uh, this diesel power plants are utilized this is the central station in hospitals or in bigger malls we can utilize this as a central station these are the somewhat list is given you can see this is generally in jammu kashmir this is utilized because this is one uh, we can say it is uh, away from the load centers gangtok is there so north eastern region major uh, power which is uh, coming from this uh, uh, diesel power plant because very less quantity of energy or the uh, oil and gas reserves hydroelectric power plant because it is away from the uh, our country we can see it is a north eastern region so you can see the names <coughs> these are the 
this is the general layout so we already seen the diesel engine is there this is the major part the intake system is required in that case the compressor is also there to start this because compressor is required the oil uh, system is required in that case to circulate the oil oil coolers are required because continuously oil is re, uh, circulated silencer is there so this is the system where you know when it is started the diesel engine the compressed air is sending to this fuel is sending to this at starting only the compressor is required otherwise air is coming through the air filter pump and we are uh, sending to the diesel engine otherwise when the at starting only the compressor is required so compressor is also shown in the diagram this diesel engine the crankshaft is connected to the generator and continuously it will be gener generate the electricity so these are the somewhat uh, systems which are showing in there this is the engine system so generally 5 to 50 megawatt that is the major drawback we can see not we can generate like a, a steam turbine power plant or hydroelectric power plant you cannot generate 1000 2000 3000 megawatt it is only 5 to 50 megawatts okay then uh, starting system is there to start the engine it may be a compressor in that only starting uh, the air is supplied lubrication system is required continuously oil is circulated and it is the cooling is also required in that case after circulation of the uh, this oil it should be cool so cooling system is also required fuel supply system is required high pressurized fuel pump is required in that case so continuously fuel is supplied to this air filter and superchargers are required in that case to supply the air filtered air we can see cooling system is there to cool the water cool the oil is also there exhaust system silencers and governing system why the governing system to maintain the speed of any uh, we can say that particular engine so this is the require this is the diesel power plant uh, this is the what are the advantages where it is seen that it is a starting station we can use we can move from one location to another location it is act as a central station it is act as a peak load power plant why it is called as peak load power plant even if it will be supplying very less power it can be start very fast and uh, uh, we can say we can stop it very easily as as per the requirement it is act as a standby unit when peak load is required we can supply we can start the engine very easily and supply the energy so it is called as peak load power plant also and stand, standby units are also but major drawbacks are very less power is generated again the petrol and diesel pollution these things are coming as compared to the we can say hydroelectric power plant very high quantity of uh, fuel is required in that case so running cost is more in that case again we can see pollution is mo more but uh, like northeastern region like Arunachal Pradesh Sikkim in that case we cannot uh, the the lines the electrical lines are not available we can supply more and more power in that case so here we we are we have to introduce this diesel power plant in that location and we can supply more and more energy so these are the somewhat advantages of diesel power plant uh, thank you